I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Um, Togaf just made a video talking about Dragon Age 3 and how they needed to do the story better because of how bad Dragon Age 2's ending was. So, considering my old channel, 90% uh, of the subscribers at the very least were because of Dragon Age Origins, Awakening, and Dragon Age 2, I figured I'd give my quick thoughts on Dragon Age 3. Now, from what I know, we have no gameplay whatsoever. <laughs> it was announced, the, the game was announced some time ago, um, let's see, Dragon Age 3 was first announced on Twitter the evening of May 19th, 2011, so, um, almost two years ago, and it's coming out this year at some point, hopefully before summer, that'd be nice, but, um, when it comes to the game itself, all I hope for is a long game, like, I'm talking Dragon Age Origins long. I felt Dragon Age 2 is a kind of short game compared to Origins. Um, so, a decently long game. I want the combat to be Dragon Age 2, kind of. Like, I want it to be more Dragon Age 2 than it was Origins. Because <clears throat> Dragon Age 2, it was fluent. It felt amazing. Dragon Age Origins, I've tried playing it again. I tried playing it again after I played Dragon Age 2, and I couldn't. Um... Hell, the first couple of videos watching Togaf uh, replay through Origins right now, you know, he's doing a reboot, it's so damn hard to watch him play because the combat is so slow. <laughs> I mean, it's it's one of those games where I'm watching him and like he'll unpause it, everyone attacks one, then he pauses it again, it's like, what the hell? It's horrible. But, so, uh, as, far as, as far as the story goes... I would like if they did what they did with Origins, where your choices at the end, they go through all of them. That'd be awesome. You know, they, they really do need to do that. Dragon Age 2 kind of failed in, in that department. So for all the people who say Dragon Age 2 was a failure, you're an idiot. Dragon Age 2 is an amazing game. They dropped the ball, story-wise, at the end, but it was still a great game. Um, so... Dragon Age 3, I have high hopes for. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the, uh, look at the wiki here. It says, game, for gameplay, Bioware is playing on fusing elements of both earlier games in the series, which is Origins and Dragon Age 2, into the creation of Dragon Age 3. Combat is also expected to differ somewhat from its predecessors and focus more on a player's ability to prepare, position, and form a cohesive team with his or her party members, requiring fewer repetitive finger strikes but better thinking, which is good. Um... Customization is said to be expanded in this game. And, let's see. Can't find anything else. And then the setting. Dragon Age 3 will be set in Thetis, the fantasy world in which the two previous games are set. The game will cover more geography territory than its predecessors, with one map being described as four to five times the size of Ferelden. That sounds cool. The setting of the first game in the series, blah, blah, blah. The developer said the next game would likely be so somewhere more French, which fans recognize as the land of Orlais. Orlais? Orlais? I'm not really sure. Um, following the events described in this supplementary novel that I haven't read. Um, ooh, and the Circle of Magi has gone rogue, in part due to the events of Dragon Age 2, and the Templar Order seceded from the Chantry to wage their own civil war on the mages. Um, and that's a big thing, too, is... Um, that's why I love Dragon Age 2, is because it was focused on the, um, the Templar and the Mages. Was it, is it the Templar? Yeah, the Templar Order and the Mages, okay. And, uh, so I loved it, is because a lot, I, I, I guess a lot of people didn't play the DLC for Dragon Age 2, but there's a reason why the Mages were going crazy. And that reason is amazing. And it's basically because, and this is why I love bringing Anders along with it, or with me on the journey through the Legacy DLC, is because you go to, you find a, um, a Tevinter mage, a Darkspawn, who, he was in the Golden City, he was one of the mages that went into the Golden City, and this is the thing that the Chantry says, is that the reason Darkspawn exists is because mages went to the Golden City, they fucked everything over. And obviously, people like Anders don't believe that. They think that uh, the Chantry just hates mages for whatever reason. Um, I assume it's because they have magic, but Templar do too, but whatever. Um, 
<laughs> so without trying to get too far into this, it, it's it, Dragon Age 2 had a great story up until the end. Um, so I, I, I can't wait for Dragon Age 3. I am very excited, and once we get a fucking release date, I will most likely play through the games again. I am very excited to do so. Um, hopefully they announce it soon, to be honest, because I, I don't know how long I can stall playing those games now. But, yeah, so for people who say Dragon Age 2 is bad, you're an idiot. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Dragon Age, the series is great. They just failed on the story for, or the ending for Dragon Age 2. Simple as that. So, that's my thoughts on Dragon Age 3. They need to do Dragon Age 2 type combat, because it was fluent, felt great, but keep the story more Dragon Age Origins-like. So, we'll see how that works out. And, I'll see you guys soon.